Uh, saw it. Dustin TV here, guys. I got a tips and trick guide coming up regarding Need for Speed Unbound and Grip Build, NOS bonuses, how to use it all. Stick around for some cool techniques. The first part in breaking down this technique is understanding grip boosting. This is where you effectively use your high grip builds paired with yellow NOS bursts, allowing you to take increased turn angles as well as sustain your speed through the corner. Mastering this technique will take you a little bit of time and the correct vehicle setup. However, this is viable across the board, so I do highly recommend it. If you're not running any kind of grip build, you should definitely start now. 100% grip is going to be needed to make this truly work. Picking the correct time to use your yellow nitrous is going to be crucial. You'll notice in this clip that I saved my yellow nitrous for the turn. This has multiple beneficial mechanics behind it. As I'm winding up for this turn, a key element is that I'm not decelerating or braking the car. You'll notice as I'm coming out of the corner, I'll get a grip bonus. This is because the 100% grip build plus the boost is giving us more grip bonus. This creates a chain effect, what I want to call chain gripping. As stated previously, you are getting an increased turn angle as well as sustaining your speed. This will shave off multiple seconds off any lap time, as well as place the vehicle in positions you wouldn't normally be able to get it into. This is a prime example of how grip boosting can get you through corners faster. My opponent here has the exact same car, same engine, same build. You'll see here that I use my grip boost and go on the outside. Even though I'm taking a wider turn, I'm able to out angle my opponent as well as pass them and continue gaining speed into first place. I do want to reiterate that this will take some mastery time and finding your new apexes will not always be easy. Also, oversteering is a thing and I want to show you a couple examples of that. In this clip, I'm struggling to keep control of the car and I'm desperate for grip boost. Coming up to the corner, I need it for the apex. However, I oversteer and you can see the car goes almost into a 40 degree angle off of where I needed it to. This happens often with high downforce and high steering sensitivity. There are other variables that can go into the mechanics of this technique that can change how it's affected, such as the terrain you're driving on or even the grade of the terrain. In this clip, I want to demonstrate how saving your nitrous even to the very last second can sometimes be extremely beneficial. You will notice I'm not pushing the car in a complete angle, however, I'm still retaining my grip and it releases now. Retaining your grip bonus is not actually that difficult. You can even just hold a slight angle to retain grip bonus. Holding on to your grip bonus for as long as possible can make or break a race depending on how you use it. The last thing I want to leave with you guys is a reliable build just to get started with the grip boosting and chain gripping. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We're going to be using a 6.2 V8 Super Induction Pro ECU Pro Fuel System Super Exhaust System Pro Centrifugal Sport Nitro Road Suspension Sport Brakes Elite grip tires, sport clutch, sport transmission, elite differentials, and for the auxiliary, we're going to be using near miss and grip. Lastly, for your handling, you're going to put your grip to 100%. You're going to put your downforce all the way to the right or one click over from the highest if you like. And steering sense, I do about two clicks to the right. If you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Also, I stream on Twitch every day. I'll leave the link below if you feel like joining us. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Take care.